Welcome to Vincenzo's Kitchen and today we're going to make a budget stretching make that dollar holler Italian gluten free diabetic friendly spaghetti squash I guess you could call this lasagna but I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to call it casserole and what we've done here ahead of time as we have taken two pounds of ground meat which was on sale so I picked it up and came back home as I do most of my own shopping and uh, decided to make up some meatballs I was gonna do meatloaf and I decided no I want some Italian because there's nothing like Italian and to have it be gluten free and diabetic friendly that's a pure bonus and what I happened to do was pull out from the garden my largest of my spaghetti squash that I've grown. I have a couple more left and uh, decided to throw them in there, throw him in there and let him bake. And I've covered them completely wrapped in aluminum foil after coring the insides out with a large spoon and saving the seeds so we can do some of this again next year since it was a nice one and it got nice and big I'll save those seeds and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this together unfortunately I don't have all my tomatoes coming in yet but soon and so I ended up with my always standby uh, spaghetti sauce which is the Hunts brand so let me go on over here and see if we can't get a little bit of this started today with which Hunts sauce I'm using is the, the four cheese and I've also got a six cheese Italian blend to that four cheese I added two heaping taste, uh, teaspoons of the minced garlic I just love the garlic and my meatballs which look fabulous have already been drained into a jar because I never pour grease on the sink because it'll just clog it up and so what I'm going to first do now that I've opened these up and they're almost ready to handle <laughs> in fact I should have let them cool down a little bit more is I'm going to start flaking this and put this in my nice casserole my best casserole dish and for those that are unfamiliar with the spaghetti squash the reason why they call it that is because it comes out just like spaghetti if it's cooked. Now this is an hour 350 cored out and completely wrapped in aluminum foil. Now a lot of people save the the husk and then they serve it right in there which is a great thing to do but I'm making a larger portion uh, today so I've decided I'm not going to do that. It looks real nice on presentation and you can just score everything right out of there with your fork until you hit the outside core there's very little waste with these and fresh is just so nice and I've coated my pan with just a little bit of olive oil I like the if I'm gonna make Italian I want it to be Italian I was going to mix the spaghetti sauce or the uh, spaghetti squash right with the sauce in a bowl and I decided I don't need to do that I'll do that right in the in the pan we'll put everything together as you can see these were nicely roasted they're in good good condition covering them up an hour is perfect at 350 they're nicely done I love the smell. Spaghetti squash is great just to eat with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper as a side dish. You know, it's it's lower in carbs, lower in calories, so it's diabetic friendly. But I'm going to use it today to make this casserole. And see again, after it's completely done, 
it's a nice presentation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take some of my Hunt sauce that I've added the garlic to, although they do have a garlic and herb, which is a quite nice sauce. And this is my go-to because it has less carbs than most any other spaghetti sauce that's out there that's flavorful and it's gluten free. So we're just going to put some of that in there. That'll soak this up quite nicely. I used about half of the, of the can and now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a nice portion of this six cheese Italian blend which has all kinds of goodness in it and we're going to put that right on top of the spaghetti squash and one thing I do want to do is I'm going to grab my fresh ground pepper I want that in there I like that nutty flavor and I'm going to grab a little bit of my Italian seasoning, which I've already added to my meatballs when I mixed them up. And I've used a little bit of tapioca flour to uh, help bind them together. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my nice meatballs. I'm going to use, use my fingers. I have. I have something out that I could have used, but that's okay. And I'm just going to place these right down into the spaghetti squash. <coughs> Breathing in that pepper. Does that to me all the time. So what we have here is 12 nice sized meatballs. I always make them a little bit bigger than what I want them because they cook down. And remember again, they drain off everything. So we've got them in there. They look quite nice. And we're going to take our sauce and we're going to just give them a, a little coating here we're going to use the rest of this sauce. Give them a nice coating. These are all fully cooked. The meatballs are fully cooked and drained. perfect amount for both the spaghetti squash and the sauce. Get them out of the road. And I'm going to take a little bit of the Parmesan Romano blend and we're just going to give them a dust. Just give them a little dust And if you want to give them that finished herb look, I'm going to take some fresh basil. I grow my own basil and dry it. There's a video on my YouTube channel for that. And we're just going to just give them a touch on top. Very unique flavor basil. I, I am always happy to. Uh, to have basil. In fact, I have a whole tray out there on picnic table farming that I'm going to dry out and use. And for anyone who hasn't had the opportunity, uh, 
to take a look at my book. It's Picnic Table Farming, an idea whose time has finally arrived. And with current world events, I definitely believe that. Chock full of nice pictures, commentary, how-tos, what you can grow. And where is my money shot picture? There, there it is right there. That's the picnic table farming area. All right, that's available on Amazon in both Kindle and hard copy format. Don't be afraid to pick up a copy. The link is on my Facebook page. So here we go, a nice casserole dish, gluten friendly, or diabetic friendly, nice and Italian-y, garlic and herbs, fresh vegetables, and I'm going to pop him in the oven. We're going to give him about 15 minutes that'll give me a chance to clean up here in the kitchen. And there you have it, another original recipe in Vincenzo's kitchen where something good is always cooking. Alright, remember to be kind to one another out there and help your neighbor if you can. Alright, we'll see ya. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Subscriptions are free. Are free. Don't be afraid to share. Alright, <laughs> we'll see ya. Have a great day.